Welcome to our lecture online. Here's a couple more examples of how to deal with scientific notation. And these are designed in such a way that you can see that we don't always want to put scientific notation in, the, in their standard form. Even though 3.6 times 10 to the fourth is a standard form, so is 6.6 times 10 to the third. And in the denominator, it is not the standard form. Well, if we're going to divide 6.6 by 11, that's a little bit awkward, so it might be easier to convert these just a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move this decimal place over to the right by one. We're going to move this decimal place to the right by one. Even though it's a non-standard form, it will make it easier to solve the problem. So when we do that, we get 36. And since we move to the right, we have to subtract one from the exponent times 10 to the third. We multiply that times 66 times 10 to the second power because we move to the right we need to subtract 1 from the exponent and in the denominator we keep the 11 times 10 to the minus 5. Now when we separate the factors from the 10 to the exponent portions we get the following we get 36 multiplied times 66 divided by 11 and then we multiply that times 10 when we add exponents we get 3 plus 2, and we subtract what's in the denominator, a minus minus 5. And so this now, now we can see that the 11 goes into 66 six times, so that's 6. This is a 1, and 6 times 36, let's see here, that would be 180, that would be 216, times 10, 5 plus 5 would be 10. And now again, we're going to adjust this so we can put it into the standard form. We need to move the decimal place over to the left two places like this, which means we're going to add 2 to the exponent. So this becomes equal to 2.16 times 10 to the 12th power. And that's the most simplified form of that expression. Over here, what we need to do, of course, is take all three of them and write them as scientific notation. But again, since we have an 18 there and a 9, it's better to keep it as an 18 times 10 to the third instead of 1.8 times 10 to the fourth. Let me show you what I mean here. So the first one here, we're going to have to move the decimal point over one, two, three places. And so this becomes equal to 4 times 10 to the minus 3. And over here, instead of moving the decimal place over four places, starting from here to here, one, two, three, four, we're only going to move it over three places. One, two, three, like this, and write this as 18 times 10 to the third power. And then we divide this by, here we have to move the decimal point over. Whoa, lost my pen. There we go. One, two, three, four places. And so we write this as nine times 10 to the minus four. Now when we separate the factors from the portions that have the 10 and the exponents, we end up with 4 times 18 divided by 9. So those are the three factors. And then we multiply the times 10. We add exponents. We have a minus 3. We add plus 3. And then we subtract, because it's the denominator, a minus 4. So this is equal to, well, the 9 and the 18 are divisible by 9, so this becomes 2 and 1. So we end up with 8 times 10. This is a minus 3 plus 3 that cancels out, and a minus times a minus is a plus 4. So the final answer would be 8 times 10 to the 4. So you can see by manipulating it just a little bit, kind of thinking ahead, seeing 11 in the denominator and a 6.6 .6 in the numerator. We move the decimal place over one spot, we end up with 66 divided by 11. Here the same thing, if we move the decimal point only to this point, we end up with an 18 and 9. That makes it a lot easier to make the calculation. And that is how it's done.